Hey, Mr. Parker here to review uh, one from Wild Eye Entertainment. This is All Saints Eve. <clears throat> and uh, it takes place before Halloween, the night before Halloween. And anyways, uh, this film uh, follows... Uh, in the very beginning, it opens up with this... Uh, this man being kind of wrongfully killed, uh, being accused his family of witchcraft and things, and kind of has the mom mentality, old flashback, and that's that's kind of cool. Uh, you'll recognize a guy from uh, Bad Boys in that. One of the villains in Bad Boys is in the movie. He's in tons of movies. He's not in the, the film anymore after that. And then it goes back to modern day. And uh, essentially what is going on here is this guy has this haunted house and this old building that he's going to knock down. A lot of the townspeople think this house is kind of a, a bad omen. They don't like people messing around. They don't like people going near it or anything like that. <clears throat> and they don't, they're not sure if it's a good idea to knock this place down. Uh, but he's going to have, he does the haunted house every year in this house. And everybody shows up from town and goes through it, all the kids, uh, the teenagers, things like that, you know. And uh, then he's going to knock it down in the morning. Uh, of course, uh, bad things happen in here. Uh, one of the there's uh, a mass killer going around slashing these people when they go through the haunted house. Uh, this is not for me at all. I, I just I just didn't really care for it. Uh, the way it's shot isn't too, isn't necessarily bad, but uh, the the story is painfully uh, unoriginal. Painfully unoriginal. It's been done a million times before, and that's not necessarily the worst thing you could ever do in a movie. I mean, it, lots of slasher movies are the same, same, and over and over again. But somehow they find it an enjoyable mark in a lot of them. Uh, the kills in this aren't anything uh, spectacular, and uh, the dialogue is ac absolutely atrocious. Who did this? You own this place, don't you? Who did this? It looks like someone cut out her heart. Where's Frank? Frank? Frank was here with you. No, no, no. He went upstairs to find you. You didn't see him up there. I didn't see Frank upstairs. What's that? You did this, didn't you? Uh, no, man, I'm just trying to help. I didn't do it. Vince, no. We have to stick together. Let him go. It's not him. It's not him, Vince. How do you know? We don't know him from Adam. Just let him go. Please go upstairs and get Frank. <laughs> And uh, I don't know if it was the acting or the dialogue or a mixture of both, but it comes off really bad. And it, it just, I was almost thinking at one point this movie was maybe a satire of the whole genre and in on the joke with one of the lines in the film. And uh, this, this whole scene I, I still think is probably supposed to play for laughs, uh, the scene that you'll probably see right over here. Uh, the, the dialogue that she says about, you know, the head and let's go, I want to take the head with me or something like that. It's got to be played for laughs, but the rest of the film is doesn't really have moments like that. And it just it's just really painfully bad and how stupid the characters are. I just couldn't get into it uh, because of that. And it, it doesn't really have any of the other things that make you pop when, when a movie's just so stupid and so like just by the numbers you have to have something in there that that draws you in maybe some amazing special effects maybe some uh you know great atmosphere or something like that like a Fulci movie that this is ridiculous but the atmosphere and the, the story draws you in regardless uh this mm -hmm. this doesn't have anything different for me it doesn't have anything that you know speaks to me i just think it's very flat and very generic with with, with some, you know, uh, bad writing in it, which I think, uh, I'm not, you can't, it's hard to judge actors, to be honest, when you have a lot of the dialogue in this movie, it'd be really hard to deliver it. Uh, Sean Whalen's in the movie, I don't, I don't see him credited on the back, and I, I'm not sure if I saw him credited on an internet movie database, I don't know uh, what's up with that, but Sean Whalen's from People Under the Stairs, and Jury Duty, which I'm surprised I remember that, but, but uh, he's a great actor, and he's not bad in this, he plays like the slow character, but he has, he has a decent character, and uh, he does a decent job, but uh, the rest of the film, it's, it's not enough to save the movie. Uh, some people may like it. Check out the trailer at the end. It's just not for me. Like I said, uh, I, I think it's abysmal.
but uh, that's due probably just to the genericness of it and uh, nothing that sticks out to me at all. But uh, uh, Mr. Parker, that's All Saints Eve. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, I don't know if there's any special features. I, not, I don't think there, there was a making of that happened after the movie. It's like an hour long, but then there's like a 30-minute making of at the end. Uh, where, and it showed that this film had a, had a pretty big crew, which I was surprised by. Uh, like the, the director is a cinematographer. I believe he's not uh, originally an uh, American, so uh, if he wrote the film, that might be a lot of the translation problems and things like that that they just don't come through uh, but uh, I just I just the lousy characters lousy dialogue and without with that when you have a slasher movie and there's not much to, and not spectacular gore effects there's just not much to look forward to unfortunately but uh, I love movies that take place on Halloween that always is a plus and uh, but uh, I just couldn't get into this one uh, mr. Parker thank you very much for watching have a good one I am the whirlwind of the Lord as I pass. So is the wicked no more. Your wife has been consorting with the devil, Caleb. We won't have no witchcraft in Spring Hill. You and your family will no longer sow your seeds of evil. Now you got the whole town talking about what's going on out of that house. Oh, the haunted house. <laughs> well, <God. laughs> Oh my God. Ha, ha, ha.